My lord, thank you for coming. If it weren't for the Sith, the Empire would collapse all around us. This chat is all well and good, but you still haven't told me what I'm doing here. Cadence pinned us in. The only reason Master Caden is still around is because he hasn't met me. I'm counting on that. And they're surrounded by cliffs full of Duras shock troopers. Then have your soldiers stand aside and let a professional take care of this. Have you ever considered coming over to the dark side? Many times. But only in the hopes of destroying every Sith in existence. You are on Jedi land, and I'm only gonna ask once for you to leave. This place seems badly kept for such vital land. Maybe a thousand years ago it belonged to the Jedi, but right now it's up for grabs. I would expect you of all people to understand the significance of this place. The crystals your empire hopes to turn into a weapon of mass murder are visible signs of an invisible truth. The Force. A Jedi does not kill until forced. I would sooner kill every Imperial on Ilum than allow these crystals to be desecrated. Then you'll die for something you believe in. One with the Force. I will be even stronger. And you. I did not request your help so that you could bring aliens into the Empire. I did not come here to take disrespect from a moth. None intended, my lord. Delta Squad will disable the ray shield, while you storm the base and destroy the guns. There will be other obstacles beyond the troops and the ray shield. Count on it. That's why I'm sending you in. We're putting our best piece on the board, so to speak. I'll take care of the shield generators. You find out who betrayed us. I don't like being taken for a fool. You're not a fool. I am. It was my plan, and I will find the traitor. Once we build a stealth armada, we won't need change. I wonder how long the Empire can survive on outdated traditions. It has more than survived these thousand years. It has flourished. Morph Regus is a creature of habit, I'm afraid. And then, the Empire will build something bigger and better, on and on and on, until we destroy each other or the galaxy. The Republic is weak and afraid. You'll surrender long before the galaxy is destroyed. The Republic will never stop opposing you. Failing to understand that will be your downfall. We pull the weak up and become stronger as a result. Looks like it's your turn to die now. I don't care what you have to do, Major. Find Malgus and find that fleet. Let me guess. Malgus has taken the Crystal Fleet. You can never trust the principled ones. The Emperor is gone. His station and power are mine. We will conquer the galaxy while the Emperor sleeps. Once he controls the Stealth Armada, he will be almost unstoppable. I know I've asked too much of you already, but this new Empire can't succeed. I need your help to stop Darth Malgus. I don't like being betrayed. Doing the Dark Council's work, he said. You've worked alongside Malgus the Betrayer. Did you sense any signs of weakness? Why the hesitation? Malgus has guarded himself well. He stole our Emperor's cloaked space station and fled. I will destroy the enemies of the Empire. We can turn this in our favor. A command fighter from Malgus's invading fleet should have his station's coordinates on its nav computer. I hope they weren't friends of yours. Aside from the traitor to the Empire, who are you? I am Darth Saravan, right hand to Emperor Malgus, emissary and friend to the Foss. She seeks your stealth fighter. Thank you, my dear. Talsa Ko is a Voss mystic. Soon she will experience a vision of Voss prosperity under Emperor Malgus. Then all Voss will join us. The cowardly Sith will pay for assuming that title. 
The Voss made him weak. Thanks to you, we've secured his stealth fighter, complete with coordinates to Malgus's cloaked station. General Hesker is prepping it for your final assault. I really am the best. Of that, there is no doubt. But I'm afraid we have little time to celebrate. Moments after Darth Serevan's defeat, we received this message from the betrayer. Congratulations, Regus. Your servant has won Ilum, but victory still eludes you. I have harnessed the Foundry's power. Once its droids assemble my stealth armada, I will crush what remains of your empire with one blow. What is the Foundry? An alien space station built to construct technology on a mass scale. We must escalate our attack plans. It's a relief to see you again, my lord. I took the stealth fighter for a test flight, performed a full systems test. We can leave for Malgus' station on your mark. It's about time Darth Malgus faced a superior Sith. I won't keep you waiting, my lord. You're going to enjoy this, my lord. Such power! With one movement, our flux cannons fire, and an Imperial capital ship is disintegrated. The Sism Collective has crafted this battle station into the galaxy's greatest technological marvel that even your entire fleet can take us down. Turn off the station's weapons, now. <laughs> Interjection. Silence me, bags. Do not move, Sith. Your force cannot corrupt my targeting data. The first shot will immobilize you. The second will spill your slippery components onto the floor. I've been looking for a reason to cause some chaos. Observation. I am pleased to face an opponent who shares my taste for violence. Weapons activated. Assassination protocol engaged? I have been looking forward to this. We meet again, Darth Nox. Welcome to my throne room. So much history. So many glory days that slipped away from us. The Emperor is dead. Long live the new Emperor. You've defiled that throne long enough. You will address the Emperor with respect. It is proper. The Empire is withering away. Soon it will be obliterated by decadence and antiquated ideals. Yet still you struggle to keep it from healing, don't you see? Our survival demands a new Empire, tempered by alien alliances and strengthened by tolerance. I've seen the Empire's weakness. We must change to survive, but you're going about it the wrong way. You know the Dark Council would never willingly relinquish their power. Enough. Emergency warning. Power core override engaged. Self-destruct initiated. Malgus the Betrayer. In the name of the Empire, I will destroy you. My lord, we are honored. How fitting that a fellow Dark Council member crushed the traitor. Malgus the Betrayer is dead. You have destroyed the False Emperor. Not even Darth Malgus could weaken our grip on the galaxy. Hear, hear. Contrary to Malgus's claims, the Empire is stronger than ever. 
Meanwhile, a traitor's flock is abandoning the flaming ruins of his heretical revolution. You're fortunate I didn't assume the betrayer's throne, Grand Moff. The power I would have wielded. Your power is too great to be chained to a throne, my lord. We were in a grave place. Yes, sir. Agent, the demise of Imperial intelligence notwithstanding, I look forward to seeing your best work. I look forward to doing my best work. Adegan Crystals. He sent Jedi Master Jerry Caden to lead the Republic's elite alien armies on the ground. Caden's pinned us in. If they want a war, we'll give it to them. How do you plan to counter Master Caden? I plan to kill him. And they're surrounded by cliffs full of Duras shock troopers. It sounds like this Jedi is defenseless without his shock troopers. No Jedi is really defenseless. But the shock troopers are key. You're very confident for someone who's cornered. Cornered? Hardly. You are on Jedi land, and I'm only gonna ask once for you to leave. I have a counter-proposal. You disappear, and the Empire will show mercy to you and your soldiers. A generous proposal. But we both know I could never accept it. This is a military matter, Malgus. You appeal to the Dark Council for help. Here I am. If there's one thing I have learned, the Dark Council are not people I want to cross. You see how my hands are tied, Moff. It wasn't my choice to interfere. We need the Crystals. We need that mine. I want the Republic's Kalish army destroyed. Show the galaxy the price of allying with the Republic. I'm going to need a really big bomb. Can't take down an entire army by hand. It's a point. Who challenges me? I'm here to make an offer on behalf of the Empire. What does the Empire want with the people of Kali? The Empire wants you to join them and fight for them. You have defeated my warriors. You are strong. You have issued the challenge. You are knowledgeable. But the Republic pays us well and offers us a place among their people. What if I promise your people a place in the Empire? The first alien since the ancient Sith to join. Then I offer my sword and my blaster to you. Take them as a sign of our sworn allegiance to the Empire. I did not request your help so that you could bring aliens into the Empire. Then you shouldn't have requested my help at all. The mine's been reclaimed. We can resume our crystal operations. The Republic's artillery base is protected by a ray shield and the Republic's best alien forces. Delta Squad will disable the ray shield while you storm the base and destroy the guns. Sabotage is a speciality of mine. That's what I'm counting on. Your expertise versus the Republic's numbers. We can't destroy the anti-air guns until that ray shield is down. Looks like you have a new mission. Destroy the shield generators, and then attack the Republic artillery base and take out the guns. This won't be the first time I've had to improvise. The consummate professional. Once we build a stealth armada, we won't need change. What's the use of a stealth armada if the Republic spies can learn its location? Imperial intelligence is not my problem. I'm here to win Ilum. I'm curious how you plan to do that. And then, the Empire will build something bigger and better. On and on and on, until we destroy each other or the galaxy. Then it would be best if you surrendered to me now, don't you think? What good would that do? Failing to understand that will be your downfall. We pull the weak up and become stronger as a result. All this talk isn't doing you any favors. No? Well, I didn't expect so. Let's get this done with then. I don't care what you have to do, Major. Find Malgus, and find that fleet! 
glad I went to all that trouble. Darth Malgus betrayed us. He's taken the Crystal Fleet. The Emperor knows where. Should have murdered the traitor when we had the chance. Officer, excellent. You've observed Malgus the Betrayer in action. Did you detect any weaknesses? He won't pass up the opportunity to parade his victory before us. When Malgus shows himself, we must be ready to strike. An accurate assessment, sir. Find me a pilot, and I'll secure that ship. I would be proud to fly you into battle against the Betrayer. I knew you were a member of the Imperial Guard, but a pilot, too. Combat and covert flying proficiency are a few of the skills I mastered in the Emperor's service. The Empire sent you. I know. I have seen this moment. Welcome. Then all Vos will join us. The cowardly Sith will pay for assuming that title. Only one vision is certain. You fought. I watched and bowed to the victor. Right on schedule, officer. With one movement, our flux cannons fire, and an Imperial capital ship is disintegrated. The Sism Collective has crafted this battle station into the galaxy's greatest technological marvel that even your entire fleet can take us down. Everything has a weakness. For example, the Animid skeleton. One well-placed shot can reduce the body to a crippled husk. You wouldn't dare. Warning! Stop, meatbag. My weapon is trained on your spine, officer. The first shot will immobilize you. The second will spill your slippery components onto the floor. Who are you? Statement. I am HK-47, commander of the Foundry and personal exterminator to Emperor Malgus. Weapons activated. Assassination protocol engaged. I have been looking forward to this. Finally, the Empire's faithful, stubborn servant. Welcome to my throne room. So much history. So many glory days that slipped away from us. The Emperor is dead. Long live the new Emperor. I respect your perseverance, Malgus, but not your claim to power. You're not as foolish as you look. The Empire is withering away. Soon it will be obliterated by decadence and antiquated ideals. Yet still you struggle to keep it from healing, don't you see? Our survival demands a new empire, tempered by alien alliances and strengthened by tolerance. Your vision is quaint, but unrealistic. An inclusive empire will be torn apart by a million voices screaming for equality. You're as blind as the Grand Moth. My stealth armada will destroy your fleet, and I will destroy you. Enough. Emergency warning. Power core override engaged. Self-destruct initiated. What you're doing is wrong. Their deaths will be on your hands. The blast will wipe out your fleet. And only I can deactivate the destruction cycle. Die, 
or defeat me. Either way, the Empire is reborn. Contrary to Malgus' claims, the Empire is stronger than ever. Meanwhile, a traitor's flock is abandoning the flaming ruins of his heretical revolution. The Republic may seek to take advantage of our weakened fleet. They're busy recovering from their own failed offensive against the Betrayer. Thanks to your ever-loyal service, the Empire will rise to dominance again. And whatever your future within our ranks, it will be a glorious one. You think that Jedi isn't expecting this? Out! Yes, sir. Hunter, I hope we have a deal. I have your battlefield commission ready. My payment, too? When the job's done. I was hired to kill you, that's all. You just do your job. But do you ever stop to question what that job means? You are on Jedi land, and I'm only gonna ask once for you to leave. If you're done talking, I'd like to do what I was paid to do. Surely even a bounty hunter understands sacred things. The job, the hunt. The crystals your empire hopes to turn into a weapon of mass murder are visible signs of an invisible truth. The Force. A Jedi does not kill until forced. I would sooner kill every Imperial on Ilum than allow these crystals to be desecrated. It will be a pleasure killing you. I hope to deny you as much pleasure as I possibly can. This is a military matter, Malgus. You appeal to the Dark Council for help. Here I am. There's something going on here I should know about. Just internal politics. Dark Malgus. I'll just be observing for the time being. Observing, hmm? Sure. Challenge the Kalish General. Then bring me his head. Multiple bosses just confuses the job. You're here under a military commission. My commission. I will not trust the Empire to mercenary freaks. I am war leader Gilrex. Who challenges me? The toughest fighter you ever met. What do you want with the people of Kali? You are enemies of the Empire. You must die. Then you issue a false challenge. Warriors, to arms! Now, if you'll excuse me, I have other matters to attend to. At least some people around here still have sense. Good work at the mine. They would have stabbed us in the back down the line. Doubtlessly. The mine's been reclaimed. Delta Squad will disable the ray shield, while you storm the base and destroy the guns. Sounds like easy credits. It will be, if the plan works. But in war, things rarely go according to plan. The base is protected by a huge ray shield. We can't destroy the anti-air guns until that ray shield is down. Looks like you have a new mission. Destroy the shield generators, and then attack the Republic artillery base and take out the guns. Guess I gotta clean up your mess again. Just make the explosions nice and loud. Once we build a stealth armada, we won't need change. Stow the philosophy. You hired me to fight a war. Perhaps we should move on. Our conversation is not stimulating enough for the Hunter. The Republic's base is built into a cliffside. Whatever your philosophical shortcomings, you are a solid tactician. I earned my title. Then let's start the attack. Good luck. I don't care what you have to do, Major. Find Malgus and find that fleet. How can you lose an entire fleet? Darth Malgus betrayed us. He's taken the Crystal Fleet, the Emperor knows where. We should have murdered the traitor when we had the chance. Hunter, at last. Now that Malgus the Betrayer is your prey, do you recall any weaknesses we could exploit? 
who waited years to spring his trap. Now it's up to us to claw our way out. I'm afraid you're right, Hunter. I hope they weren't friends of yours. I never figured the Empire's top diplomat on Voss would join Darth Malgus. I respond to logic, as do the Voss. Lord Malgus provided it in abundance. I heard Seraphin shot you out of the sky. I objected at the last minute. My injuries are minor, but my ship was a complete loss. Inform the Grand Moff that Darth Seraphin is dead, and his stealth ship now belongs to the Empire. Excellent. Imperial forces are busy securing the fort, and we found survivors. Shall I dispose of them? Spare us, and my people join the Empire. Leave no survivors, Hesker. Anyone who supports Malgus must die for their treason. I'm afraid that includes you. No! A just end for the traitors. You're a welcome sight, Hunter. I took the stealth fighter for a test flight, performed a full systems test. We can leave for Malgus's station on your mark. Take us in nice and easy, but if Malgus is on to us, get ready for a fight. I will monitor all enemy transmissions. Now steal yourself. Time we destroy a false emperor. Just in time for the show, Hunter. Such power! With one movement, our flux cannons fire, and an Imperial capital ship is disintegrated. The Sism Collective has crafted this battle station into the galaxy's greatest technological marvel. Not even your entire fleet can take us down. The station may survive, but you won't. You wouldn't dare. Warning! Stop, meatbag. I hoped you wouldn't be such easy prey. The first shot will immobilize you. The second will spill your slippery components onto the floor. Stand down, or I'll be forced to disassemble you. Statement. I am HK-47, personal exterminator to Emperor Malgus. Backing down from violence would violate my programming. Weapons activated? Assassination protocol engaged? I have been looking forward to this. Guards! Reinforcements! Somebody help! Oh. Please, those things I said in HK it was all a misunderstanding. Just let me live. You are an ally to Malgus the Betrayer, and a traitor to the Empire. She's coming for you, Emperor Malgus! She's... Thank you for the warning, Argus Wode. Face me, Hunter. If you can reach me. The Imperial fleet's taking heavy casualties. If you're gonna do something, do it now! again, mercenary. Welcome to my throne room. So much history. So many glory days that slipped away from us. The Emperor is dead. Long live the new Emperor. I respect your perseverance, Malgus, but not your claim to power. You're not as foolish as you look. The Empire is withering away. Soon it will be obliterated by decadence and antiquated ideals. Yet still you struggle to keep it from healing. Don't you see? Our survival demands a new Empire. 
tempered by alien alliances and strengthened by tolerance. The galaxy's full of independent contractors looking for a side. But your revolution's just encouraging their disrespect. You are perceptive. But still, you have much to learn. Emergency warning. Power core override engaged. Self-destruct initiated. That's a little extreme, don't you think? The loss of this battle station is insignificant if it sees the Empire's change. The blast will wipe out your fleet, and only I can deactivate the destruction cycle. Die, or defeat me. Either way, the Empire is reborn. Join us, Hunter. Celebrations are in order. Enjoy this. The imps don't grovel often. Malgus the Betrayer is dead. You have destroyed the False Emperor. The next time you need a power-hungry Sith Emperor dethroned, let me know. The Imperial Guard will not permit another rogue usurper. General Heska. Excellent. Contrary to Malgus's claims, the Empire is stronger than ever. Meanwhile, the traitor's flock is abandoning the flaming ruins of his heretical revolution. Now that Malgus's word is out, you may encounter more traitors in your ranks. The Dark Council will question all those with seditious tendencies. The Empire will rise again, and we will always remember the hunter who secured our victory. <laughs>